Hey guys, welcome back to Thorncraft 4. So the last episode, I just went over some of the, the node mechanics and some of the unlocks that we got to make our drawing Vs from our Aura nodes a little bit safer and a little bit quicker. So today, I want to get into some of our alchemy stuff. And to get started, we're going to need to make a crucible. So our crucible is pretty easy. All we do is get our iron ingots and make a vanilla cauldron. And then we want to place this on the ground and tap it with our wand. And that turns it into a crucible. Which, oh, damn it, I should have scanned. I should have scanned the cauldron. Ah, oh, well. We got the crucible at least. So, to use the crucible, we need to fill it with water and we also need to put a heat source under it. So, you can put like netherrack down and light it on fire. Or you could just light a wood block on fire, but it'll destroy the wood block and go out, which isn't great. Or you can use lava. So we place our lava source, put our crucible on top, fill it up with water, and that'll start to boil pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. Right. So, alchemy. So what we want to do is some of our... Some of our unlocks, some of our crafting, is made in the crucible. So basically what we end up doing is we throw in items and break them down. The crucible breaks them down into their Essentia components. So once we have the right amount of Essentia in there, we can then throw in a catalyst. Like we'll see here with Nitel. Once we have three Ignis, three Lux, and three Potentia in the crucible, we throw in a catalyst of glowstone and we get night ore. So, I just so happen to have. Why is there gold in there? Oh, I know why there's gold in there. For that damn primal charm. Uh, so, luckily, I've got some glowstone handy. So, we need three, three Ignis, three Potentia, and three Lux. So, we know that a piece of coal gives us two. And I did that wrong. Piece of coal gives us two of each. So, we could just throw two coal in there to get four Ignis, four Potentia, and throw three torches in for three Lux. But, if we do that, we're going to have two leftover Ignis, uh, one leftover Ignis and one leftover Potentia. And that's bad. Anything that's left over, any Essentia that's left over in the Crucible will continue to break down. So it'll start to break into its base elements, which in that case would be like Igni uh, what's Potentia? Ignis and Air? Is it or Ignis and Order? We can tell if we go to our table. <laughs> yeah, Ignis and Order. But we can... Uh, then bad things happen. Right? If you leave Essentia boiling in the Crucible, bad things start to happen. I think you get like these overflows of purple goo stuff and like, clouds of noxious gas. I don't know. It's bad stuff. Don't do it. Don't leave stuff in the crucible. We actually get some cooler stuff later on that sort of makes that less of an issue. But for now, just don't leave stuff in the crucible. So the easy way to get around that, in this case anyway, is to do two. We're going to make two night ore which means we'll need six of each element. So three coal will give us six potential and six ignis. Six torches will give us six lux. And if we throw in two glowstone, that's two catalysts, so we'll get two night ore back. So if we go up to our crucible, throw the torches in, we can see the lux. Throw the coal... Oop. Throw the coal in. All right, so we have everything we need, so now we just throw our glowstone in. Bam, just like that. So we have two night ore. So that's that's basically that's basic alchemy for Thorncraft. That's how we get started with our alchemy. So there's there's a few things in here that we can unlock already. And I'm actually not going to cover any of them just yet. I'm gonna wait until after we get some of this stuff over here before I actually go into how you make these and and what we can do with them. Just because I actually really like this stuff up here, and it makes this stuff a lot safer. 
So, yeah, that's it for Basic Alchemy. So the only other thing I want to talk about this episode is the Night Hall we just made. So we've made that Night Hall as our example. And Night Hall is pretty cool. It's not much good as a fuel source, like coal. We can't use it as coal. Or, I don't know, I've never actually tried. Maybe we can, but I, I might try that before we finish, actually. Yeah. But the main thing you can use Night Hall for is you can place it in the world and it'll act as a light source. So I'll just show you if I break this. And because I'm using any eye, I can hit F7, and these red squares are areas that are dark enough for bombs to spawn. So you see we've got all these torches here that are making these areas safe, but this isn't. If we put our night or here, you can see it lights up this area and makes that safe. Place it over here. Yeah, and it's also it's a freestanding uh, block, basically. So we can place it up on top of that wood block, break the wood block, and it stays there. It's not like a torch where if you stick your torch up on the block and break the block, the torch breaks. It's freestanding. It'll stand on its own just up in the air, wherever. So it's it's pretty cool as a light source, though you do have to be careful. If you use too much of it, you can run into like um, FPS issues and have your game lag a bit if you're using... I don't know, like hundreds of night or to light your entire base. But that's just a risk, I guess, you have to take. The other awesome thing about night or, if I just break this block, grab my bucket and pick this lava up, like that. So you notice the crucible stopped boiling because the heat source is gone, but we can actually stick night or under here, and it should start boiling again. Yep, there we go. So that's a much, like, that's a much safer method of heating your crucible. Because if you, if you're like me and you've ever built either like a a wooden house or if you've ever played um Natura, like the the system mod to Tinker's Construct, where you have those giant giant redwood trees, I actually built a base up in one of them once. I was focusing on Ars Magica mod for my magic stuff, and then I decided I wanted to do some Thorncraft. I tried to make it safe. I built like this whole brick area, like a fireplace looking thing. It stuck the lava block down for the crucible, and yeah, I, I burnt half my tree down. It was kind of sad. But yeah, if only I'd known that you could use Night Ore as a heat source. So. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's Night Ore. It's very handy as a heat source for your Crucible. It also makes an awesome light. And yeah, that's Alchemy. That's Night Ore. I think we're done here. Alright guys, see you in the next one.